the importance of proper backdrop. As I said before, we're dealing with fundamentally architecture, walls, floors, and ceilings. And then, but each one has a different tone. Like you go in there and just take the floor. It can be marble, it can be slate, it can be carpet, it can be uh, original carpet. Uh, walls can be paint, wall covering, fabric, murals, faux finish. And for the, for, for the most part, you do the same kind of thing with ceilings that you can with walls. Okay. But it's orchestrating these backdrops if you can. Um, sometimes people would say, well, I can't do anything. I live in an apartment. I can't do anything with walls or my carpet. And there we start to deal with different other aspects like furniture or sub-backdrops that we can control that don't have to uh, address the architecture. So what we're going to do here is we're going to enhance everything. We're talking about backgrounds and we're talking about foregrounds. So think of it just like a uh, photographer. We're, we're changing things out to make you and your things look their best. We perceive in the best light. So it's all going to, it's all there to, to enhance the form, shape, color, proportion, texture, everything that's there. Oh, one, one thing too. When in, in a room you have some things that your wall is definitively the backdrop for, like a piece of furniture, a large piece of furniture, secretary, a uh, piece of artwork, and then you have other things like my cocktail table that the floor or the rug is the backdrop. But then you have other pieces like a, a piece of furniture so up against the wall. Well, now your wall and your floor are the backdrops for that piece. So consider your, your, your line of view is out this way, your cone of vision. But your cone of vision also up and down like that too. And when you tilt your head and you move, you want to consider that. 